How you doing? My name is Anthony Basil Rodriguez uh, from New York City, and uh, I love plants. I'm a photographer, I'm a filmmaker, I'm an ethnobotanist, um, and I'm a lover of the natural world. This is just my childhood right here. This whole, this is my childhood right here. I literally slept on my friend Carlos couch for a whole year. I mean, I'm always reading, I'm always educating myself. Like that's just something that's like a constant. The process, I feel like it just like, it, it happens like, it's like a plant, you know? It's something that just feeds. Right now, we're going to see my father. We're in Fordham Road on the Bronx. I spent a lot of my youth here, you know, working with my dad in his tattoo shop. When I was a kid, I used to stand outside the shop and just like give flyers, tattoo piercings, tattoo piercings. Check it out, check it out, check it out, yeah. But he said he's moved across the street again uh, recently, so I'm gonna see. I haven't been to this spot. What? Let's give up. Good looks, good looks. Good looks. What's up? How you doing? Right. Uh, like growing up or like around here, it like gave me more of a different way of moving through the world, you know? That's why when I want to go to foreign countries, I feel like I know how to move right. If you go to like Soho area and that area that we was before, like that's a lot of people move, coming to New York to like, exp you know, experience like New York. But like, this is like real New York, coming here in the Bronx, you know? There's people living real life, you know, it's not like, Someone moving from elsewhere to just you know experience uh, what they yeah, think. Yeah, over here we don't care. Yeah, <laughs> what we do, what we, what we want over here. We yeah. don't care. <laughs> do what we gotta do. Different. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's hilarious. <laughs> One time I was watching a girl with the binocular, and the guy said, yo, yo. Are you safe right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know hilarious. I have bucking out, you bugging out. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. I can look all I want, as long as I'm not touching. You sabes lo palo? Bien, bien, bien hecho, y nítido. Viste que hizo la sombra y todo, mira, sombrado, mira. Yeah. <coughs> he speaks Arabic. Oh yeah? He's Egyptian. Oh, okay. Yeah. That means when you go inside these Arabic stores, they start talking shit, you know what they're saying, right? That's <laughs> fucked up. And they be talking a lot of shit, right? No, oh, so, I mean, sometimes. Yeah, they be talking shit. Body language talk. I got one guy over there. Every time I come in there, he call me brother. Every time he call me brother, he has something else to say in his language. I don't even have to look at the language, I look at his body. And his body saying, fucking nigga. Oh, That's what his body saying. And then you know how I know his body saying it? Because his friends start laughing. That's crazy. Yeah. Every day. One day he came in there, he said something before I walked in and they said, what's up, brother? I told him, yo, if you ever call me brother again, I'm going to take you outside, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Tell him straight like that. Since then, he never said nothing to me when I walk in the store. So I know you're talking about me. I don't have to understand your language. Your body talks for you. As old as I am, I'm 63. I know when body talk. I know when somebody's gonna do something. Body talks. Any language you could speak, but your body speak one universal language. It does. Your body. Your body and your eyes. Could never lie. Could never lie. Your body and your eyes. Could never ever lie. Mulberries. I think 
feel like when things are forced, it doesn't feel right. So I just try to live like very natural flow, you know? Where the water wants to go, I let it go. Like if I, if I need something, it just comes to me. Okay, so we're currently in Northeast India and uh, I'm in Arunachal Pradesh. Oh, rewind. <laughs> so we're currently in Northeast India and we found Musa Argentia. It's very beautiful. I'm able to photograph the specimen. This is probably somewhere in the, the late 30s of how many species I've photographed. Quite interesting, but you can see here, we got some small populations growing here in this nice, beautiful field. And I've got me covered with seeds, literally. But the things you do for a photo will be worth it. I believe. What's happening? Check out the, all these rare cacti and succulents here. Look at that, Epithelanthia. Epithelanthia, Epithelanthia? Yeah. This is from South Africa. Dioscoriaceae is a very big, I think there's like 120 Dioscoria species, but these are kind of the prettiest species. So Dioscoria is a vining plant. If you know the African yam, or if you know like in the, in the Caribbean, like Nyame in Puerto Rico, or like, uh, you know, any of the, the, the yams that you cook, that's also Dioscoria, the same yeah. genus. Whoa. You can uh, yeah, see wag his tail. Yeah. Like yeah. This is my brother, you know? <laughs> the dangers of being a plant in a plant shop. You know, medicine, food, clothing, dyes, you know? The relationships we have with plants goes back to, you know, since time of memorial, so. Yeah, I don't know. Just something that you didn't pay attention to growing up in the concrete jungle. Yeah. There, there's a reason why we look the way we do. You understand? Like, look at me, I'm a black man, I got like curly, kinky hair. You're a white man, you have like more straight, finer hair, and fill a face with beard, blue eyes. We're adapted to various parts of the world because if you take a plant, for example, and you move it around, and over hundreds and hundreds of years, say I live in the lowlands, and then I move to somewhere in the highlands, you'll start to see different genetic variations of that plant start to change depending on where its environment is and it will be more favorable for that plant to survive and you'll start to get like different phenotypes which is the characteristics that like it evolves to to have and, and that's why you have human diversity just like you have plant diversity you know and yeah I don't think people think of that much often you know because we have like you know racism and all these weird things that to try to divide us but like we're just basically evolved creatures to that, ha that have been adapted to various environments of the planet because we're, we're creatures of the earth, you know? See, that, that's, a, that's those are real humans for me. You know, just connected with the animalia like that. You know? 